Hi, I'm Jessica from Jessica Wanders, and this is my third grocery haul of 2024. I was going to try to make it until our vacation, but there was just some stuff I had to stock up on. So I couldn't, I couldn't resist it anymore. <laughs> I couldn't resist grocery shopping anymore. We've been so busy with the garden and stuff like that. I really was thinking that I would shop every week instead of every other week. And that didn't, hasn't worked out yet. Maybe after the garden is in, I can get to grocery shopping more often. I got a grocery delivery from Save On. It's not always the lowest prices, but they do deliver. And, uh, and I don't have to go to town, so I save on the gas. It, it turns out not so bad. Let's go through everything that I bought. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to see more videos from me or check out the join button for other ways to support my channel. We ran out of yogurt. It's a thing, it's a thing that happens. You have a tiny little bit in the bottom and it goes bad because you're not eating yogurt and you can't make new yogurt with bad yogurt. So I did have to pick up some yogurt. I haven't bought yogurt in a really long time. I found the cheapest that I could find with the highest milk fat. This is 9% milk fat, really thick and rich. Just Western family, Greek style yogurt. We'll eat this and I'll use, you know, three or four big heaping tablespoons of it to make a whole bunch more with the 10% uh, half and half cremo that I used to make my yogurt. Western Family Greek style yogurt was on sale for $3.49. And then the cremos were on for, they were not on sale, they were $3.99. I usually use two of them, really about one and a half, but we'll say two. So that's four, eight dollars and the, the Greek style was three forty nine, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, like eleven forty nine. And a big thing, I'll post it up here, a picture of the big, huge tub of of plain yogurt, and it's about the same price. And of course, I've had to buy another starter, kind of like yogurt starter as well. But it's usually cheaper to make my own yogurt definitely and then we have some cream left over if I want to make a cream soup or in our coffees or whatever I'm disappointed that I let it get away from me but that's what happened we'll make some more uh, Greek yogurt and then just some milk for cereals got tons of cereals I don't even know if they were on sale yeah uh, General Mills multigrain Cheerios was on for five dollars and 49 cents Oatmeal Crisp was on sale. Yeah, I usually try to buy cereals when they're on sale. Oatmeal Crisp Triple Berry was on sale for $5.49. I accidentally bought Post Shredded Wheat. I meant to buy Shreddies, but I bought but I bought Shredded Wheat. This will exist in our downstairs pantry into the apocalypse because, you know, I'm not super fond of them. I like Shreddies. Shredded Wheat, you guys there's some like special recipe that uses shredded wheat to make something that's more yummy please let me know I mean I'll eat these when we absolutely run out of cereal maybe Mr. Wanders will eat them I hardly ever buy them so I'm not sure if he likes them or not uh honey bunches of oats just more granola -y type stuff to put into yogurt this one has 25% more granola honey bunches of oats was on sale as well and oatmeal crisp kind of a granola-y fruit thing to put in yogurt. Honey bunches of oats for $3.99. <laughs> Shredded wheat. That's gonna exist like really forever. That's hilarious. And then just some Cheerios. I got some more Nature Valley sweet and salty variety pack granola bars because they're so yummy. Salted caramel and dark chocolate nut. Things are never like as alphabet there it is nature valley bars 14.49 they were not on sale but we needed some granola bars i got some bananas dollar 74 a kilogram to figure out how much they are a pound you just divide kilograms by 2.2 because there's 2.2 pounds in every kilogram so they were 79 cents a pound bananas those are pretty expensive and then i got these spartan apples and honestly i'm not impressed with them at all they're not they're tiny first of all like i don't have big hands they're tiny and they look crappy and they were expensive they're not they were not cheap they weren't on sale and they don't look great just saying spartan apples not super good six dollars seven dollars for this bag of apples which i thought was a little bit pricey considering how kind of sad they look i got some loaves of bread i know i'm supposed to be using up a whole thing of whole wheat flour but i just don't have time to make bread right now 
and we've got a bunch of stuff to do and Mr. Wanders likes to take sandwiches really quick, quick, easy. So I had to get some more bread. Western Family bread, they were on for $2.99 each. Just our regular bread that we get. Sometimes they go on sale cheaper. I wanted some more lettuce -y type things for salads and stuff. So I got picked up this 50-50 spinach and spring mix, which we really like. And it was not on sale and it was $6.99. What else did I get? Oh, oh, ground beef. Ground beef. We were completely out of ground beef. This is absolutely not the best price for ground beef. It wasn't even on sale. It works out. It's fifteen forty one a kilogram. If you divide a kilogram, the price by 2.2, because one kilogram is 2.2 pounds, it makes this ground beef $7 a pound, which is way more expensive than at Costco. It's a long drive for me to get to Costco, so I'm saving on gas and stuff. And we had no ground beef um, in the house at all, and we haven't had any for some time, and it was starting to get annoying. Ground beef is just so versatile for making meals and stuff. So I'll divide this up. I think it's how many kilograms is it? One and a half kilograms. Each one of these is about three pounds, so I'll divide them up into pound packages, and I'll have six packages of lean ground beef in the freezer again. I have to tell you, normally I don't show you the stuff that I buy that is not food, because I have subtracted this from the total amounts, but I went to buy this ivory soap, and I thought that it was the bigger package. This is a package of three. I'll leave a picture up here of the one. It was only a dollar more. A package of 10 was 6.99 or something, not five. And this package of three, <laughs> was um lots it was five dollars and 79 cents so this is not the one that i intended to to buy i intended to get the pack of 10. you know i just feel like i'm making sort of distracted mistakes so i've got this three bars of ivory i'm gonna have to try to get mr wanders to stop because we're completely out of soap and i wanted to stock up on it and it's on sale this week so i bought this wrong one i bought the shredded weeds that are wrong man i'm not paying attention to what I'm ordering very carefully is what's happening. And then, because there are not a lot of snacks in our house at the moment, this Chapman's Premium Ice Cream Black Cherry was on sale, and then I got some regular vanilla ice cream. Chapman's was on sale for $6.99. Western Family Vanilla Ice Cream was on sale for $4.49. It's like $10 of ice cream. If you go buy one haagen -Dazs, ice cream at the store it's almost ten dollars so this is a lot more ice cream for cheaper you just have to accept that you like ice cream and buy it in advance so it's cheaper just in case you guys want a view of all my freezers and stuff things are i'm cooking things down for sure um i've got still some pita -y type bread things and i'm slowly making my way through the vegetables from last year's uh, garden. I've got a lot of zucchini. I should probably make some, oh, I could make some whole wheat zucchini bread or something. Those are just ice packs. And then I've got some cheese that I picked up that we're eating and the paneer as well. But I mean, look how much space it, like there's a lot more space in, the, in this freezer. And this is my small chest freezer. These are the twin packs of chicken that I bought the other day. But other than that, the vegetable section is looking pretty good much much lower way more space just some stuff on top there the blueberries on those fruits but you can see it you can see the squash is still in there um, and then all this is pretty much meat over here that I've been trying to sort of make my way through I did find cranberries again trying to hide from me there's a lot of roast pork chops this I think it's that's a whole giant thing of stew beef I could do something with like you have no lack of meat that's for sure so dinners have been fairly fairly easy there's more 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 meat I think more meat down there it's just an endless amount of meat that I have so oh that bone in shank end <laughs> I never did anything with I mean I if you ever need a lot of habaneros I have those too gizzards and pork loins and pork roast. Look, I have turnips and pork chops. And this is all chicken and stuff up here. And I got all that butter. 
So, you know, we're doing okay. And this freezer is almost empty. Of course, it does have some ground cherries and some frozen ground cherry jam that I made. Frozen stuff. I've got more. How come everywhere I go, things start making noises? <laughs> All these many, many packs of squash that I still have to use up. I think we've got one more thing of bacon up here. There's my yeasts and my lard. And, uh, and that's everything that's in that freezer. I'm doing pretty good here. There is not a ton of math to do. The year to date from grocery haul uh, number two was $510.78. And if we add this grocery haul minus the soap, it's $145.51. Uh, I didn't figure out the tax. So we're at $656.29. We are going on vacation near the end of April into May. So that's definitely going to be our last grocery haul. Except I'm probably going to go back and grab this soap. But that's not groceries. January, February, March, April. That is four months of groceries. So we'll divide that by four. And that gives us $164.07 per month average which is awesome i feel like i'm doing awesome the freezers are definitely dropping down i'm focusing still on frozen foods frozen vegetables frozen things um trying to kind of get the the freezers down a little bit we've been eating food um it's just been sort of boring uneventful food <laughs> Is what we're eating. It's what we're eating. We had ham. We had a lot of leftover ham from Easter. The ham is gone from the freezer now. Um, that's an excellent average for the month so far this year. And I probably won't go grocery shopping again until about the middle of May. Hit that like button if you wouldn't mind. It really helps me out. You can click my face to subscribe to see more videos from me or check out the join button. Uh, for other ways to support my channel i'll leave a link here to the entire grocery haul 2024 season if you want to see how much and what i've bought so far this year and anything else that i think that you might be interested in and i will see you guys all next time i've got some videos dropping before i go away um so hopefully you'll uh, you'll get a chance to catch those too appreciate you guys being here watching the video i'll see you guys next time bye